I earned the NPN credential when it first became available, um, and it was pretty much a personal achievement for me. But I think um, as a profession, it was the first credential that was offered that actually signified clinical excellence for practitioners that really translated to the bedside. I got the specialty credential, NPS specialty credential in 1994. So it had only been out a couple years. And so I was currently working in an, a level three NICU and that NICU wanted to elevate the profession of respiratory um, and felt like those therapists that were really dedicated to that particular uh, unit would benefit from having a neonatal pediatric specialty credential. Once I became a neonatal respiratory therapist, that, that's where I've lived my career for the last 36 years. Um, it's something that I've done and never gotten bored with since I entered that arena. I think it's a great professional development and expansion tool. Um, it also looks really good on a resume and it sets you apart from other candidates. So if I, many times when I've gone to other hospitals or institutions um, and I want to work in their pediatric neonatal unit, having that credential just sets me apart. When one of my therapists called me in the middle of the night and she needed to some help getting a patient in the NICU on high frequency oscillatory ventilation. Every time she tried to put the patient on the hi-fi, she was unsuccessful. And as she kind of gave me some patient background, I really felt that the patient needed a fluid bolus. So I said, I will come in, I will get dressed and I will come in and I'll come right to the NICU. And the, by then the family had been called in because the baby was critically ill. We decided to give a fluid, fluid bolus and after we got the blood pressure up and switched the patient over to the new form of ventilation, the patient tolerated it better and successfully switched over, ultimately survived. The mother always thanked me as the lady in the pink scrubs that saved her child's life. And I think that's where we want to be as a profession. We want to be a team member. We don't want to be a respiratory therapist or a doctor or a nurse or a practitioner. We just want to be a team member that contributes positively to the outcomes of patients.